This segment hits home for our panelists because Fred was Sully's teacher at Wooten High School. It has been over a week since the shooting at Magruder High School. The 15 year old victim remains in critical condition. Last year, our county's elected officials decided to remove its 19 year old school resource officer program. Fred, about 4,800 people have signed a petition saying the county should bring back the SRO program. Should our county leaders reinstate SROs in our schools? Well, this is a very passionate issue with me. When I was principal in Montgomery County from 93 to 2000, 1993, 2000 at Gaithersburg High School, I actually had the first resource officer, school resource officer, and that was in 1998. Uh, we instituted it through the city government when uh, Mayor Katz was the mayor of Gaithersburg and Marion Viverette was the chief of police, and we got it uh, worked out. And it's a, I'm very passionate about it. It's not a it's not an end all and be all program, but it is a very supportive program. And it, it helps the safety and security of schools and communities. The school resource officer is not in a building to arrest students or to harass them. He is there as a resource, uh, he or she, excuse me. And uh, uh, he, the resource officer did such things as teach classes and and work with students in counseling and, and all a variety of uh, different things. He was there as, a, in my case, he was there as a presence. Uh, the Magruder, uh, could the Magruder shooting have been avoided? Who knows, there are so many more issues dealing with guns and we're gonna get into that, I know, during our discussion. So uh, I think that it should be reinstituted by all, I've been testifying about that ever since it was removed. And I will continue to do that and continue to advocate for it. Uh, and as I want to st stress again, it's not the end all be all. There are many other things that need to occur in a school uh, to ensure safety, but the resource officer is one key variable. And, and didn't all the, um, the principals vote to, I mean, they didn't vote, but they all uh, support the school resource officer program. Ab absolutely. They, they didn't vote, but they sent a resolution to the, yes. I believe it was to the school board and the county executive to reinstitute the program. Yes. And, um, you know, I have this, this thing about if, if a resource officer or any person in a role is not fulfilling that role, you get rid of the whole program? I don't think so. Uh, you, it is a program that works. There's a National Association of School Resource Officers that's located in Florida, and they do extensive training uh, of all resource officers around the country. It's a, it's a wonderful, excellent program. Sully, what do you think? This is one area where I think the Republicans and most Democrats really agree that the reinstation, reinstating of school resource officers is very, is very, very important. Uh, it, this has really been a tough week for Montgomery County from the shooting at Magruder High School to the death of a Wheaton firefighter. Also this past Thursday, uh, some of us know that there was a robbery uh, of a student at Northwood High School. And I, our thoughts and prayers go out to these families. And I believe several GoFundMe accounts and other programs have been set up to help the victims. But let's not forget the police, firefighters, and other first responders that put their lives on the line every day to protect us. That's why Republicans back the blue, because we owe them so much. Uh, the, the violent crime in Montgomery County has really increased at an alarming rate, not only in schools, but also the rate of homicides, armed robberies, carjackings, and home invasions is spiking. And I guess we can't understand the rhetoric to defund or reimagine policing. I mean, what, are the, what is the county council really thinking here? I mean, what does that even mean? So yes, uh, I think we, Fred and I would definitely agree that school resource officers need to be back in school. Not, on, not that the school resource officers are the only solution to school violence, but they are an integral part of reducing school-based violent crime. Also, one last point, even after the Magruder High School shooting, the county executive said the SROs are not coming back. He fails to mention that SROs provide a preemptive deterrent. They work to develop the rapport with the students. 
Also that the county's budget eliminated five SROs from the schools, eliminated five uh, police officers from patrol investigations unit, and also eliminated uh, a traffic compliance officer from all six districts uh, for a savings of 500, things like $580,000. But they did add an inmate advisory council to the jails uh, I think that was about $540,000. And I would suspect that most citizens would rather see our tax dollars go towards the safety of our children and in our homes. Like the, the bottom line is we need different leadership in the county now to turn this around. Okay, so Fred, um, Fred, I need to cut you off because we need to get to the next topic here on the ghost gun issue. Um, Fred, um, this uh, the person who shot this, this young student uh, purchased a, a ghost gun online. Do you think ghost gun laws should would stop future incidents in our schools? Uh, I don't, you don't have enough time to hear my whole routine <laughs> on this one. Uh, our issue with guns in this country is incredible. My, this is what I'm gonna say next is relevant. My father, Dan Evans was a POW in World War II and he was captured and, and fortunately and survived that obviously. And he came home, he brought a German Luger, and what he did before he gave it to my, his brother's quote, souvenir, he had it dismantled, so it could never be used. <laughs> That's what I learned about guns from my father. I, our, our rhetoric about the Second Amendment and uh, all that, this ghost gun issue, to answer your question specifically, is, is just another example of our um, uh, extensive use and misuse of weapons in this country. It is outrageous. Do you have anything to add, Sully? Uh, I think that the proposed legislation is clearly wrong as it violates the Second Amendment um, to prohibit anything that could possibly be construed as making a gun. Uh, what we're missing is that much that the, the real issue here is not the gun. The gun is just a tool. The real issue is the person using the gun. The violence perpetrated with guns is symptomatic of the lack of direction and respect for authority. That's respect for police, respect for educators, and the respect for life. We need to change attitudes, not legislate symptoms. Thank you, Sully.